Well, trust has always been an issue. Uh, I do remember 20 years ago already, there was a UNICT task force that they discussed about the trust agenda. And there was always a perception there is a need to build trust. But trust is difficult to define. You know it when you see it, if you live in a trust-based society. Uh, but on the internet, obviously, it's difficult to quantify. And the internet, let's not forget, it was not built to be secure. As one of the fathers of the internet, I heard him saying once, Bob Kahn, what co-inventor of the TCP IP, the internet was built to be open. And in those days, thoughts of security were not in the foreground, as it was a medium that was used among very few people, mainly academics, they all knew each other. So the question of security was not foremost in their mind. And had they maybe built an internet that was to be secure, we would not have the internet we have today. The openness of the internet obviously has also its downside. It can be exploited and there obviously uh, the building trust is important and cyber security is an issue but we are this is really work in progress there are vulnerabilities but there is also the responsibility of users i mean users also have a fair share of responsibility to take uh, a lot of it is sometimes just cyber hygiene in the same way when you leave your home you don't necessarily put the key under the doormat. Uh, and you know, with the passwords nowadays, uh, you have to be, most people know it. Uh, 10, 15 years ago, phishing was a big thing. People didn't know about it, but now most people are more careful when they see uh, an email from the bank, please change your password. Maybe we don't do that. And banks also, for instance, have been much more proactive, explaining when we approach you, we don't do it by email, so don't believe an email that, that claims to be from us, and so on and so on. So it is a collective endeavor. Obviously, governments have a huge responsibility. Governments are responsible for the security of their citizens, but uh, it's also the responsibility of users. It's the responsibility of business. Internet of Things is a very, very big issue, the cybersecurity. If uh, uh, all these devices come with a 1000 password, it's very easy to hack. So, and that's a, a little thing to make sure you don't have a, uh, you have a proper password, and not just a random password that is easy to hack. So everybody has a responsibility, a shared responsibility, no single stakeholder group will be able to solve these issues alone. So we have to work together. Governments alone cannot do it. They need the cooperation of private sector, of the technical community, but also of civil society and of the internet users to be careful and to work together. And also, when I said governments have a responsibility, but uh, they should also not overextend their responsibility uh, too much security, what governments may say, can also infringe on your right as a private citizen. So there is a need for a balance and we also need to make clear that uh, your private sphere is not infringed on by governments. But it's clear that it needs a cooperation of all stakeholders to uh, make sure, I mean, private sector has to make sure that there are less vulnerabilities in the products, be that software or hardware they offer, I'm just in particular thinking of Internet of Things. Governments have to make sure that they uh, use for their own sites, uh, have proper practices, and uh, the private citizens, the Internet user, also needs to be careful and uh, look after himself or herself and apply proper cyber hygiene. And by working together, in small steps, hopefully we can make the internet a safer and more secure place and thus contribute to building trust.